Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of a lot of the junk in Windows 11 that people just don't like. So whether that's the built-in Microsoft applications or the telemetry mechanisms as they call them, basically spying on you, sending all your information about what you're doing on the computer back to Microsoft. We're going to turn all that crap off and it's going to be super easy, just a couple clicks here. So shout out first of all to Raffire on GitHub. This is an amaz amazing project. So if you guys do end up using this, consider uh, buying Raffire a coffee over on Ko-Fi. Uh, that's just a way to donate and support his cause here. He's put a lot of work into this. All right, so head over to the link in the description, which is a GitHub repository link. And then you can scroll down and we'll see there's a couple ways to run this. There is a quick method where you can just copy this script and dump it into PowerShell and it'll run it for you. This is the traditional method, the recommended one. We're gonna use this today. We're gonna to download that latest version of the script. And then we're gonna go ahead and extract that. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and open that up and run the run bat. Before we do that though, guys, what we're gonna do is look at the app list because that's what that batch file or PowerShell eventually essentially is going to reference. So all these apps listed here will be removed by default, and then these will not. So if you wanna get rid of these, you can come in here and get rid of some of these other features. So I'm gonna take out the Git help, I'm gonna leave paint, I'm gonna get rid of OneDrive, uh, Microsoft Screen Sketch, I'll uh, leave that because I believe that's the snipping tool. Whiteboard, pre-installed on devices with touchscreen. I don't need that, get rid of that. Microsoft Photos is okay, I'll, I'll keep the calculator. Camera's fine, I'm gonna get rid of the, eh, I might need the Microsoft Store actually. Terminal, I do like, I don't game, so I'm gonna get rid of all this Xbox stuff. Microsoft, your phone, buy Zoom Music, bye bye. All right, oh, there's more. Okay, the Microsoft Gaming app, I don't use that. Outlook for Windows, I'm not using that. Microsoft People, nope. Power Automate, yes, I do like that. Remote desktop, I use that. Windows communications, this is for mail and calendar, I'm not using that. Xbox overlay, Xbox, I'm not using anything Xbox. And then we have Windows Dev Home, I'm not using that on this one either. So now it should go ahead, if we save that, it should rip out everything it was gonna do by default, plus the ones that we've uncommented there. Okay, so I'll close that out. And then we can come back here and run our run bat. And that'll kick off a command, which we'll then call PowerShell. And that's just a way to get around the execution policy instead of calling it directly in PowerShell, because most of us by default will have it to restrict it as far as PowerShell execution policy. But you don't really need to know that, just know that you download it and run the run.bat. Okay, now there are different methods to running this. I'm gonna go with the default, which is basically gonna rip out all that telemetry crap and then that app list that it showed us that we went in there and modified. You could do a custom mode, where you modify the script to your needs, or you could do three, which is the app removal mode, where you select and remove specific apps without making other changes to the system. And then you could also hit zero and that'll show you information about the script. So I'm gonna run this default, press any key to execute the script. There's a little bit of information about what it does. Let's read through it real quick. Uh, Win11 dbloat script default mode. Win11 default, excuse me, Win11 dbloat will make the following changes. It's gonna remove the default selection of apps. That's the list that we looked at, the apps list.txt file. It's gonna disable telemetry, diagnostic data, app launch tracking and targeted ads. I love it. Disable and remove Bing search and Cortana in Windows search. Disable tips and tricks on the lock screen. This may change your lock screen wallpaper, by the way. Disable tips, tricks, suggestions and ads in the start settings, notifications and more. I love it. Disable Windows Copilot, Windows 11, 22, 6, 21, and above. This is probably not going to work on my PC, or this is a virtual machine, by the way, but it's probably not going to work because of the fact that um, this is a brand new build in the Canary dev channel. And I have Copilot, which is now like an app, and all the production builds as of today, it's you know docked over here on the side. It's not like a native app. So I'm curious to see if that'll actually get rid of Copilot. I doubt it, just because of that build number that I'm on. Okay, show file extensions for known file types. That's cool, I usually turn that on. Disable the widget service and hide the icon from the taskbar. I've actually already done that, but that's cool that it does it. Hide the chat meet now icon from the taskbar, cool. 
hide 3D objects folder in Windows Explorer. And that's if you have Windows 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit enter and get this thing running. It'll restart Explorer there, so it'll flash the screen for a second. Looks like it's finishing up. Press any key to exit. All right, it's done. Now that was quite a few changes there. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot just to make sure we didn't blow up the system or anything like that. Like I said, I did take a snapshot beforehand, so we'll be all right. If you're doing this on a physical PC, you can create a restore point. And also on that GitHub page, there's information about how to revert all this. There's basically basically some reg files that he packages up in that zip. And you can just punch in those reg files. And then obviously through the Microsoft Store, you can reinstall any of the apps. But a VM snapshot or a physical PC system restore point is going to be faster and easier. Let's reboot and make sure we didn't blow this thing up. Correct password is required. All right, so here we are. Yeah, Copilot is still there, so I kind of figured that one, to be honest. Let's see if it launches. Yeah, I think I would attribute this to me being on a dev build or canary build, if you will. But other than that, let's take a look at our apps list. Pretty clean, a lot better than out of the gate. And we could, some of these are things that I've installed obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I would say that did a good job de-bloating. Got rid of a lot of those kind of apps that you don't like anyway, turned off the widgets. Like I said, mine were already off, but it'll do that for you. And then more importantly, it turns off all that telemetry stuff, right? So everything that Microsoft is collecting, all your information, your use cases, all that stuff gets sent back to Microsoft by default in Windows 11. So all that's now shut off. So this is a very slick and easy way to de-bloat your Windows 11 PC and kind of get your privacy back at the same time. Let me know what you guys think. I know 70% of the market's still on Windows 10. Windows 11, most computers can support it unless you have an ancient computer. Why are you not moving to Windows 11? I'm just curious. Do you just hate the way that it functions? Is it because of the privacy? Is it because it's more like a phone now with all these widgets and apps? What is your reason? And there's probably more than one, but I'm definitely curious to hear it. Let me know what you guys think. And if you are on Windows 11, are you using a technique to de-bloat and turn off some of the privacy stuff in your Windows 11 environment? Let me know what you're using, guys. If there's another video I need to do to cover a different product, let me know. All right, I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for tuning into this video. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so. Hit that thumbs up button if you got any value out of this video. And feel free to share it with your friends. That really helps a lot and makes the channel grow. Have a great day, guys. Till the next one. Everybody, take care.